Simpson, the starting five for your LA Bucks. Head forward, six five, number fourteen. Number 55, Derek Jones Jr. At center, seven foot, number 40, Bibi Zuba. At the point, standing six foot five, number one. James Harden. Head guard, 6'3", number 24. Norman Powell. Hello and welcome to Saturday Night with the NBA on 2K Sports. An exciting game on the way. And on tap tonight, it's the Los Angeles Clippers going up against the Toronto Raptors. With Hall of Famers Grant Hill and Doris Burke, this is Brian Anderson, plus our reporter, Ali LaForce. So let's take a look at the starters for Toronto. Bars and Pirtle down low at the 4-5. and five. Emmanuel quickly is out there with Grady Dick, and it's Barrett in at the 3 spot. And for the Clippers... It's Jones at power forward with Zubox at center. Harden and Powell, their backcourt. And it's Mann in at the small forward position. Very early in the season, but a lot of excitement still in the air, Grant. No question, B.A. I mean, the fan base... until their team is mathematically eliminated. Fans in this league are so passionate about their teams. And that's one of the things that makes the NBA so great. Now here's quickly. The three from Barnes. It's rebounded by Zubats. And they're on the break. Pass to man. It's rebounded by Barron. Quickly outside. Barrett with it. And he banks in the layup. We've seen this time and again. R.J. Barrett will not be deterred by a little contact. Harden into the lane. Count it. One for one to start the game. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. Now here's Barrett. Last game for him, he picked up 13. Here's Barnes. Sinks that one from the post. We know Scotty Barnes will embrace the physicality. That score is about concentration. Now Los Angeles with it. You know, Grant, an underrated area of improvement for Scotty Barnes has been his defense. You're spot on, B.A. I mean, we've seen an elevated intensity from him on that end. Finding more denials, attacking the ball, really proving himself as an effective stopper. Now here's quickly. Outside Barnes. Hurdle with a screen on Jones. Shot clock at six. Barnes, no good. He is too good a shooter, guys, to be left open like that. The defense just dodged a bullet there. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. And around two minutes played here in the first quarter. Here's Barnes. Pass to Barrett. This one for three. That one's good. And it's Barnes with the assist. Three point. Barrett's got five. Wow, the answer from R.J. Barrett. That three-point big-time delivery. 
the drive by Harden. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. That's on Jakob Pertl. Doris, looking back at James Harden's time in Houston. What an incredible individual. Come on, Brian. Finished in the top three in MVP voting five times with the Rockets. Came so close to getting to an NBA Finals. He's still beloved in the city of Houston. Brown, he's checked in for Dick. Ask any player or coach in the NBA, how good is James Harden? You will get the same answer. This is one of the best scorers to ever do it, guys. And rejected. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Zubac. ball. And here in the first, approaching three minutes play. Shot is good by Barrett. Assisted by Jacob Hurdle. And here's Harden. He'll bring it up for the Clippers. They trail by three. He takes it in. On the wing man. To the left wing. Clock at six. Two minutes remaining. Here's Harden. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Harden's got his second bucket of the night. I tell you, James Harden's ability to power through contact and finish with bodies around him is something else. Pass to quickly. Back to Brown. Right side Barnes. Jacks up a three. Good. And Brown gets the assist. Barnes has got his second basket. This is a huge part of Scotty Barnes' development. Can he knock down the long ball? Zubox, screen. Harden with it. Now quickly defending. Now Harden. Five points in the game. Going inside. And then Harden with the jam. Well, with that frame and that power, James Harden leaves no doubt. And there's the foul. It'll go on Norman Powell. Norman Powell. That's his first foul. Personal and some foul. changes here for the Raptors. Olenek's checked in for Pirtle. Abaji comes in for Barrett. Kelly and Mitchell Olenek. subbed in for Quickly. And timeout called by Darko Ryakovic. I think right now he must be looking at some adjustments. This game coming after the loss versus the Kings. And it's not the result they were hoping for. Every game is a chance to learn and make adjustments. Yeah, I mean, listen, it hurts a little more when you play well and fail to close out a game. That was one they should have won. Jones, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Batum comes in for Jones. The Raptors also with a sub. Dick, he's checked in for Abaji. And here's Brown for three. It's rebounded by Los Angeles. Batum outside. There's 42 seconds left in the first quarter. The Raptors with a lead. From the high post. Yep, that one goes. Scotty Barnes. Barnes has gotten his third basket of the night. Man, he's bringing the energy. The efficiency. I love what he's doing offensively. Harden with a bucket. He has not missed a shot in this quarter. They've tried running different things in him, but he's been unstoppable. Barnes feeling it out a bit. Fires the three. Drops in the three. Barnes has got ten points. This isn't the focus of Scotty Barnes' game, but you wonder how proficient he becomes from deep. Batum sets a screen. Harden the pass to Batum. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. And you would expect nothing less from these two, taking pride and making plays. And that concludes a back-and-forth, high-scoring first quarter of play. Toronto out in front. They're up by two. Don't go away. We'll be back with the second quarter in just a moment. And getting it going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going so far for the Raptors. Yeah, their early focus on outside scoring has paid off. They're finding plenty of points from three-point land. We've also seen them show a willingness to take advantage of the mid-range opportunities. The defense conceding these looks, and they're cashing in. 
the Clippers trail. After their title in 2019, the Raptors have struggled to stay among the league's elite stores. Well, think about it, B.A., the driver of that title success was Kawhi Leonard and Kyle Lowry. Both of those players are gone. Very hard to replace players of that caliber. Almost inevitable they were going to take a step back. So on the floor for Toronto to kick off the second quarter. We've got Mitchell. Also, Bruce Brown out there. Dick is out there with Kelly Olynyk, And it's Abaji in at the power forward position. Now here's Mitchell. He's coming off a 10-point game against the Kings in Sacramento. Boy, a miss like that will drive any score crazy, especially with the defender giving a cushion. Here's Batum. Left side, Jones. Harden from outside. That's in. Coming off an assist from Jones. He's got 12. Well, at this point, James Harden has put his imprint all over this basketball game, and the defense better find a way to figure him out soon. Now here's Olenek. No points yet. And again, no good by Toronto. Harden against Mitchell. Outside Harden. Outside man. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Man, we've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. And let's send it over to Ali LaForce. The Raptors are still developing. Coach Darko Ryakovich said we're focusing on offensive execution and player development. It's about what we need to do night in and night out regardless of the opponent. As we grow, we'll teach more schemes for opponent preparation. B.A. step by step. Yeah, it's a process, Ali. Thank you. Boucher's checked in for Toronto. First personal foul. First team foul. Mitchell against Porter. All right, guys, we're lucky to have Shams Charania joining us now. Our 2K insider calling in with a story. What do you got, Shams? Thanks. Many consider this summer to be the most challenging field in the history of international basketball. Nevertheless, Team USA got it done in Paris. It's not getting any easier, but the star power of the U.S. men's team shines bright in the city of lights. Guys, a classic ending for a stacked U.S. roster. What a performance. Shams Charania with the report. Thanks, Shams. That's a foul he wanted to avoid, and he definitely doesn't want to pick up his third before the half. And here is Barrett. Seven points in the game. Mitchell finds Brown. Can they get it? Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. And Doris, the Clippers, New Jersey's a shiny new arena and an ownership group that is very aggressive. They want some shiny hardware to go with it. BA, you have to appreciate an ownership group that is willing to spend and make all the right moves in order to position yourself for the championship. But now the players need to come through. And what has been their undoing in recent years is injuries and the lack of availability of their best players. Age and health still hover over this organization. Now here's Brown. His last outing, he had 18 points. Outside for Mitchell. Pass to Pirtle. Five on the clock. Banked it in off the glass. Pirtle's gotten his first basket of the night. Well, this is the expectation for Jakob Pirtle. His scoring in the post has to be there for him. Porter against Brown. Now here's Dunn. He's covered closely. Here's Coffee. Pass to Porter. On the take. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. Oh, and there is the talent. Porter Jr., a highly skilled young player. And Darko Ryakovic has called the timeout. He's going to gather the troops and talk it over. And some changes here for the Raptors. Barnes, he's checked in for Olenek. Dick comes in for Brown. And Emmanuel quickly subbed in for Mitchell. I have to admit, I mean, it's always a tough decision for the ref on the block charge call. Here's Barrett. He's got seven. Good 
efficiency. He's drained four out of five. This guy's a bucket getter. R.J. Barrett finds a way to capitalize on the interior. He's got the size to get it done. Here's Porter. Pass to Jones. And here is Porter. A minute four left in the second period. Throw it down on the line. Chris Dunn's passing ability was ready-made for the NBA. Raptors trail by eight. Here's Barnes. Jones grabs the board. Los Angeles has gone four or five from outside the arc in this one. And timeout called by Ty Lu. And we might see some changes. Coach potentially looking to adjust. And how about Scotty Barnes, Doris? Named an All-Star during his third season in 2024. And in fact, the third youngest All-Star that year. Listen, he has upgraded his playmaking. He's still getting better, and I think that's the scary part for the rest of the league. And Ty Lu has called a timeout. He wants a few moments to regroup with his players. And it's a completely new group for the Clippers. There's 42 seconds left in the second quarter. Powell passes to Jones. Out to Powell. Just five on the clock. Oh, got a piece of it. Zubac inside. Covered by Pirtle. Zubac's shot is off. Outside Barnes. Kicks it to Quickly. Two-second difference between shot and game clock. Ooh, too long in the paint. And he's hit with a three-second violation. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And so he hits the technical free throw. Nine seconds left in the second period. Pass to Barnes. Three seconds left. Second chance effort, and it's good. But hang on here. The officials may want to take a look at it on the replay monitor. Well, the previous play is under the Going to bring out the monitor and see if he got it off in time. While this call may not decide the game, you always prefer to get it right. The ruling on the floor is confirmed. Ruling is in. The call stands. No bucket. So no change in the score as we end the quarter. Good move to review that shot. That was really close to Cal Raptors. And so that brings the first half to a close. Clippers ahead. Up by seven. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks, guys. Alongside Ty Lu and Coach, what's the focal point for this team as you approach the second half? Just playing hard, first of all. And then... You know, playing with pace offensively, I've been doing a good job of getting to the basket. And then defensively, there's going to be some time to work things out, but they've been pretty good. Pace so critical to your team's success this year. Thanks, Coach. All right, Allie, thanks for that. We will see everyone right back after this break, ready for the second half. Welcome to the half as we first take a quick glance at the injury report from around the league. And something out of left field for you guys. Ernie, Ernie, left field, this is not baseball. This is a basketball show. So it's like from the backcourt, maybe like from the corner? From okay, the let, me do, corner. let me do this over, okay? Yeah, 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 because I'm kind of From the there. opposite end. Oh, wait, we ran out of time for the segment. Can't even ask the question. See, Too Kenny. bad. So let's dig into that first half now and what was a very solid performance for the Clippers. Offensively, they can post you, drive it, run cutters. They're living large in that painted area. And the defense has tried to pack it in a little, but those guys just keep coming. And that'll do it for us. Thanks for stopping by. We'll head back down to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the third quarter.
Well, for those just tuning in, thanks for being with us. Second half of this game still to play. We are seeing an outstanding game from James Harden. Yeah, I love how effortlessly he scored. The game just comes so easy for him. Now let's see if he continues that trend the rest of the way. He certainly has the talent and the endurance to do just that. Los Angeles leading by seven. Grant, would you say the Raptors are in the process of starting over? You know, I certainly don't think that's the wrong thing to call it, VA. Coaching changes, some big trades. They're shuffling things around and trying to start building something new. Harden and Kyle, their backcourt. It's Jones at power forward with Zubats at center. And it's Mann in at the three, the small forward. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. Foul beyond the arc, and he almost hit the shot. He'll go to the line for three. And Grant, the Clippers have strung together 13 straight winning seasons. But at the same time, it feels like they've left a lot on the table. Yeah, with all their star power over that time, they've made it past the second round of the playoffs only once. And that fan base is restless. It's so interesting, Grant. Younger fans may not realize the Clippers had a lot of rough seasons early on. Well, you know, B.A., that's one way to put it. <laughs> you know, in their first 27 years in L.A., they only made the playoffs four times. But things have definitely changed. Owners have changed. And now they're postseason regulars in the league. Raptors trail by eight. In transition! And the shot's good. Barnes has got 13. Opportunistic play by Scotty Barnes, recognizing his teammate makes a defensive play. Let me get out transition. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. The Clippers will keep possession. Second half of basketball. Just over a minute played so far. Terrence Mann gets the assist. Toronto's gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Pass to Barnes. Back to Barrett. Six on the shot clock. Takes the three. Sinks the tray. 12 points for him. Well, you have to understand, spacing is provided when you can make threes. R.J. Barrett delivers. Harden. Quickly with a rebound. Well, you got to miss sometimes, but that one seemed like a gimme. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And one thing we've seen from R.J. Barrett, he likes playing in a system where they move the ball, Doris. And he likes B.A. when that ball moves in his direction. R.J. Barrett is a thirsty scorer. He can go off the bounce. He's working really hard to shore up that perimeter game. He has got a tremendous future. Now here's Zubats. Harden, the pass to Zubats. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That's on Jakob Pertl. Something this Raptors team does very well is move the ball doors. Yeah, B.A., this is an unselfish group of guys. They like moving the basketball, getting everybody involved. Amazing when a team has everybody touch it, how good it feels. It's been great watching Ivica Zubac's growth. This guy, his game has evolved, and his role is increasing. Dick, the pass to Pirtl. That shot missing. Great D that time from Zubats. Harden from outside. And the Clippers miss again. Well, after hitting one triple in the first half, it's been all radio silence since. Dick gets the bucket. I'll tell you, Grady Dick can shoot for days. I mean, his confidence from beyond the arc is really incredible. Now here's Harden. He's got 14. Ooh, he's found his rhythm. Seven for ten and counting. Adds to their lead. They've been able to rely on him all night. And Darko Ryakovic has called a timeout. A moment to rest and confer on the game plan. Brown, he's checked in for Toronto. Mitchell comes in for quickly. Porter with the steal. To the middle. And he lays in the alley-oop pass. Now it's a six-point Clipper lead. Just a perfect pass. And some pretty slick body control on the finish, too. Man, that's butter. Coffee. 
Jackson. Here's Pirtle. And again, Toronto, no good. And it's Jones with the ball for the Clippers. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Porter's shot is off. You will not see this guy miss many of those. He's one of the keys to their floor spacing. Pass to Dick. That's it. Coming off an assist from Barnes. Dick's got five points in the quarter. That's a nice read from Scotty Barnes. This guy understands how and when to deliver the basketball. Raptors trail by four. 1-10 left in the third quarter of the game. Barnes with a screen on Porter. Brown passes to Pirtle. Outside, Brown. Just five to shoot. Let's it go from deep. It's rebounded by Los Angeles. Now here's Dunn. Batum with a screen on Mitchell. Batum outside. Takes a three. Nails it from beyond the arc. Batum's got six. He's so good at so quickly analyzing and getting through his progressions. Nick Batum gets it off before the defender can react. Now here's Brown. 27 seconds left in the third quarter. Batum against Barnes. Fires the three. Porter pulls it in. Los Angeles leading by seven. Don outside. Jones with a screen on Brown. Here's Porter. Oh, he cranks it down right on top of Jakob Pearl. And this kind of six slam is just one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game right now, B.A. You know, this is an edge the way they play and a confidence they're not afraid to show. And so it's Los Angeles. They have a nice nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter, just pounding the painted area. That's helped them build an advantage. And don't go far. We'll be right back. And now let's listen in to Ty Lu in the huddle. You gotta make the right play like you've been doing all night, all right? They're gonna try to help and tag. You gotta make the right play, finish, or make the right pass, all right? Well, you gotta like what Ty Lu is saying, telling his guys to take what they see. Yeah, just keep it simple. Don't rush anything. Very solid advice. With three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store. On the court for Toronto to start the fourth. Bruce Brown is out there with Mitchell. Then it's Kelly Olynyk, then it's Chris Boucher, and it's Abaji in at the three. And timeout called by Ty Lu. No doubt he's going to utilize the opportunity to make sure they're all on the same page here. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. During that last break, Coach Tyron Lue had some advice for the team. He applauded their shooting their shot selection, saying, we're taking the right threes, not forcing anything. Keep doing that, and they'll continue to fall. Makes the game easy, doesn't it? And Allie, thanks. And timeout called by Ty Lue. He was quite emphatic, demanding the timeout, clearly wanting to address strategy with his team. Some changes for Los Angeles. What's your answer for you? Substitution on the court. Shot from the inbound. And Powell with the lay-in. Their interior D continues to look shaky. Not a good matchup for them right now. Mitchell, the pass to Olenek. Back to Mitchell. Six to shoot. Olenek with a screen on Harden. Let's go with a three. Jones grabs the board. Los Angeles leading by nine. The drive by Harden. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Here's Toronto now. Right side Brown. The layup misses. Jones finds Harden. 
That's good. And it's Jones with the assist. And now an 11-point Los Angeles lead. <laughs> They're just taking what the defense gives them. And right now, that's the interior. Up top, Brown. Fires from deep. Pure from three-point range. Three point. That's Bruce Brown getting something in rhythm right there. That's nicely done. Harden against Mitchell. And he converts the layup. Harden's got 20. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly, and capitalizing. And timeout called by Darko Ayakovic. Rallying his guys to make sure they all know the plan. So Toronto ends up going with a new group. And we're about two minutes into the fourth here. It's Barnes on the wing. Outside Barrett. There's the three. And the Raptors miss again. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. The baseline, Jay. Rebound, Toronto. bertle has got rebound number seven tonight. Pass to Barnes. Outside, Dick. Here's the three. It's rebounded by Los Angeles. Zubox has got six rebounds in the game. The drive by Powell. On the wing, Jones. Jones with a screen on quickly. Stolen by quickly. And he's all alone. And he lays it in off the breakaway. Yeah, that's about speed for Emmanuel quickly. Just gets himself ahead of the pack. Quickly against Harden. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. It falls, and now he's 10 of 15 shooting. Nice work. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right Study way. Barnes. And this is how you finish inside. Barnes, I mean, he doesn't fear anyone close to the rim. Zubox with a screen on quickly. Three-pointer, Harden. It's rebounded by Barrett. Raptors trail by eight. Here's Barnes. And the layup is good off the glass. Barnes has got four points this quarter. This guy is such a phenomenal scorer. Scotty Barnes feeling very good right now. Zubox, screen. And Harden with the slam. And just a great screen. And they got a high-powered finish out of it. And my question is, where was the help? Someone rotate over and challenge. Now here's Barnes. Blocked. What a great defensive play by Ivica Zubac. This guy just gives you great effort defensively. <laughs> nice job to go at the rack and force the foul. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for Los Angeles. Yeah, they were so aggressive from the start. Getting the ball into the painted area. Now, they stuck to their game plan, and it paid off. I think another thing that's striking here tonight, the ball movement is incredible. Again and again, they're making smart passes to ready shooters. Every moment counts here. They have got to get moving. This is the very definition of desperation time. You've got to score every trip. Now, here's quickly. Back to Barnes. From the right block. And he can't bank that one in. And so they foul intentionally. First personal foul. First team foul. There's 39 seconds left in the fourth. All right, Grant trying to seize control now. NBA, if they can convert here, they might be able to close the door. Well, getting in the lane and making your presence known is crucial part of the defense for these guys. Oh, big time delivery from the young Scotty Barnes. Clutch moment, no worries. And they go to the intentional foul. First personal foul. Second team foul. First free throw is good. And that puts him up five. James Harden. Two shots. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. Well, we know this. Free throw shooting is such a mental aspect of the game. This guy keeps his composure and comes through. Here's Barrett. Oh, he nails it! And now they 
They trail by just four. Well, Jakob Hurdle is an excellent passer for a big man. Just a really nuanced feel. Yeah, and there's no question they have to foul. Now, I'm sure they wouldn't prefer to avoid it. So he gets them both, and it's a six-point ball game. Now a timeout called by Toronto. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth. Given the situation here, what sort of strategy needs to be top of mind? They need to answer fast. Well, preferably a three, right? If there's a clean look, take it. Quickly, outside. Up top, Dick. Kicks it out to Barrett. Dick, the pass to Quickly. Launches a three. It's good from beyond the arc. This guy is a pick-your-poison kind of player. Very hard defensively to cover all your bases. And a smart choice right there. I mean, you can't allow them to just drain the clock. And so both free throws good. And it's a five-point game. Taking care of business at the line. Leaving this one out of reach. The three from Barnes. Can't get it to drop. So it's Los Angeles picking up the win. Boy, they didn't make it easy on their fans or themselves. But at the end of the day, everyone on their side is happy. Yeah, happy indeed. The momentum shifted away from them a few times, especially early on. But give these guys credit for sticking with the game plan and finishing the job. And now we have Ali LaForce standing with the player of the game. Ali, take it away. James, I'd love to know whether it's scoring, playmaking, or your defense, what aspect of your game are you most proud of? Being able to play a full course of a game and, uh, you know, and make an impact every single play. Uh, that's what I'm here for, and uh, that's what I have to do. It's been fun to watch. All right, Allie, thank you. And that about wraps it up. For Doris Burke, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, and our entire crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. And we present the player of the game, James Harden.